2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, take it away. Kevin, thanks very much. James Harden has led the league in points per game the last three seasons. And the Beard said, honestly, it's not even about me scoring. Teams are playing me for the pass. I just try to make the best play. And whether that's scoring or passing, every game is different. Kevin, back to you. D.A., he is dangerous in both facets. He's hard to stop. And the starting lineup for the Pelicans, Ingram the three and Zion the four. Ludzo is out there with Lonzo Ball. And it's Adams in at the five down low. And for Brooklyn, we've got Harden. Griffin is out there with Durant. Then there's Irving. And it's Harris in at the three. He'll be the Nets off the tip. Here's Harden. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. And really a high flyer with those go-go gadget arms. Bledsoe right on top of that shot, making an impact at the defensive end. Harden, no good. And Ingram has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. Pass the ball. Sinks the triple. Just the first good move in a game of chess between these two coaches. Strategy is going to be a big part of the outcome tonight. We'll see which team dictates the style of play. Irving softly drops in the floor. The little teardrop effective shot for Kyrie when he doesn't want to take it all the way to the rim. Ball gets to Adams. This is it to Ingram. He gets that one terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. Here's Irving. Griffin trying to get open. A nice shot by Irving. Irving's got his second basket of the game. I like this from Kyrie. Looking for a high percentage shot. Settling for nothing less. And it's Williamson missing. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. A baseline J. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Harden. Irving's got six. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Ledzo looking around. Ingram outside. Five on the clock. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And it's easy to see just how dangerous Ingram is in the pick and roll. His size, the long arms, the shooting ability. The team has no clue as to what to do. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Williamson against Durant. A fader. And it's Williamson missing. The Nets with the lead. KD passes to Irving. Shoots over ball. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Eight points for him. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up to the New Orleans Pelicans. There's the dish to Ingram. it off the glass. I like the attack mindset. Ingram not content to stand out on the perimeter. Bledsoe against Harden. Pass to Durant. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And even if you risk a foul, the D has to play him tougher when he gets it that deep. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. Beautiful location on the pass, as usual. Led his man perfectly. The pass to Harden. 
And the layup is good. That play is made because of Kyrie's vision and his willingness to share the basketball. Ball kicks to Ingram. Williamson outside. That shot off the mark. And Brooklyn will come the other way. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. That's just great court recognition there. He saw the D pack in the lane on the break, so he calmly rolls up and drained the transition three. Ball, the pass to Adams. Outside for Bledsoe. Here's Williamson. Plays it up and banks it in. Whether it be rebounding, driving the ball, in transition, Zion always looking to attack. Here's Irving. It's blocked. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. And the shot goes in. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. Pelican shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And a new group in for the Nets. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Kevin Durant. Brown, he's checked in for Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for James Harden. For Ingram. The key player involved in the Anthony Davis trade, Brandon Ingram, was considered a cornerstone for the Lakers. But things change fast in this league. Now here's Irving. Shot up two there. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. And first time out of the game called for New Orleans. Look to start a new streak after losing on Monday. Man, that game goes down to the wire. Both teams exhausted, but only one has something left for the encore. This is what we love about the NBA. Epic matchups almost every night. What other sport has that? on defense. Back to Johnson. Bobs it up there for Ingram. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Because of that link, Ingram can catch that pass no matter where you put it. Pass to Irving. Brown wide open. He fires. And it's off from three-point range. Ingram on the wing. Dinwiddie covering. Green against Johnson. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Brown outside. Green kicks to Brown. Back to Green. The kick out to Irving. Off target with his three. The Pelicans trail. Here's Ingram. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And Irving with the basket on the assist by Brown. Irving's got 15. Out in transition, Kyrie finds his spot down the court. Finishes the job. Here's Ingram. Great D that time from Jordan. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. And that's a special play coming from the one spot. You know, his passing can take a backseat for that dunk. Wow. It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee.
the free throw drops for Dinwiddie. Here's Alexander Walker. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. This is up to Ingram. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And it's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. More in your face, physical, high energy plays like that. Now here's Dinwiddie. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. Pelicans ball. Hayes dishes to Ingram. Score the basket. It's number six for him this game. Six for nine. 67% shooting. Great quarter for him at the offensive end. Trying to wheel his team back in the game. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. I'm out called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Don't sleep on Ingram as a facilitator. Has the size to see over defenders and make sound decisions. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. to Irving they kick it out to Green a three-pointer off the mark and you don't want to give up that kind of look too often and that one's good Ingram now just a two-point Brooklyn lead Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power he mixes them together for a big finish here's Brown yes and it's Irving picking up the assist He's got three assists tonight. Boy, both teams racking up the points to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. And that one's good, Ingram. Ingram's got 17. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Pass to Irving, and it's good, two points. We're seeing the full arsenal here tonight. Uncle Drew turning up. Alexander Walker passes to Ingram. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. 
it's going to be on DeAndre Jordan. The Pelicans have gone one for one making their previous attempt at the line. One forty three left in the first quarter of the game. Dinwiddie outside. Back to Irving. Let's it go from the wing. It's rebounded by New Orleans. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now here's Ingram. He's got 20. It's stolen by Hernan Gomez. And that one's good. Ingram, 22 points for Brandon Ingram. This is just a case of Brandon Ingram getting stronger and more able to play through contact. Dinwiddie passes to Irving. 43 seconds left in the first quarter. Now the pass to Alexander Walker. Now Hayes. Lock at six. Pass to Alexander Walker. Another shot for Nan Gomez. And there's the bucket. Staying with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. There's 14 seconds left to play here in the first. Outside Irving. Irving double team. A three-pointer is right on target. Dinwiddie's got it all tied up now for the Nets. It's always risky to throw the double team at someone. You have to be aware of who you're leaving open. Tie game in Brooklyn. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. And it seems like players are constantly changing teams. Here is Spencer Dinwiddie discussing the effects of it. As, as a team, as a unit, as a roster, we've had a lot of turnover, and so we're all adjusting and, and getting used to playing together and building that chemistry and, and, and that foundation. Greg Dinwiddie, one of those players who seems to adapt to any situation. I mean, he's versatile, total team player, will do whatever is asked of him. He's really emerged after being picked in the second round a few years ago. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for New Orleans right now, Hart is out there with Zion Williamson. Then there's Hernan Gomez. Then there's Lonzo Ball. And it's Alexander Walker in a two-guard. And the basket by Harden. I love how Durant keeps his eyes up, scanning for someone with a better look. Ball feeling it out a bit. One, no good. Some solid defense from Harris. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Griffin. Now it's a three-point Nets lead. Loads it up for Williamson. Hammers the alley-oop through. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley-oops. Dinwiddie outside. Again, the Nets for two. So that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Here's Hart. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And that's where KD just feasts with this team. When it comes to those spot-ups, he's as good as anyone in the league. Passes it to Williamson. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. 
Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. Pass to Durant. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line uh, an underrated two-way player Bledsoe wows you with his offense but he's also made the all defensive first team the Pelicans have gone two for two in the game at the line and he knocks down the first one So hits them both. That's leading by four. Then Whitty is surveying the floor. Here's Harden. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. And Harden's such a creative scorer, especially when he gets in close to the basket. Now here's Ball. He has five. Here's Hart. Now here's Griffin. The pass to Dinwiddie. Harden against Ball. Goes back up. It's deflected. When you mix Ball's length with his timing, the result is a quality defensive play. Here's Hart. Guarded by Harris. And shot opportunity and there's the nice layup by Adams his hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score pass to Harden swiped away and a fast break now for the Pelicans Paul with a wide open look knocks down the three ball now just a one point Nets lead Reliable three-point shooting is so important. Lonzo works hard to deliver that for the team. And here's Harden for three. Again, the miss by Harden. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. And it goes down two points. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, and you look at the lead changes. Six already. Timeout called the Nets. Uh, let's see if Coach can get them back on the right track. Because right now, it feels like the pace is being dictated to them. They need to go back to playing their brand of basketball. Switch here. Johnson's checked in. 
And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Dinwiddie passes to Harden. That one good for two. Using his craftiness there to get by the defender. Harden is just so good at finding ways to score. Bloodshow outside. Here's Williamson. Brooklyn with the rebound. Griffin's got four rebounds in this game. Kicks it out to Harden. And a miss there on the triple. The Pelicans have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. And really an elite combination of speed and power. When Bledsoe's aggressive, he draws a lot of fouls. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. The first free throw is good. Some changes for Brooklyn. Jordan, he's checked in for Griffin. Green comes in for Joe Harris. And it's Brown in for Dinwiddie. Brandon Ingram, he's checked in for New Orleans. Hudson hits them both. Brooklyn trailing. Passes to KD. Stolen by Bledsoe. And now the Pelicans on the break. Bledsoe's got the ball. Some solid defense from Brown. The Nets have gone 8 of 14 in the second quarter on field goal attempts. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. That's what DeAndre is out there to do. Dropping the hammer is his specialty. Bledsoe kicks to Ingram. Launches it. Bangs home the trifecta. Ingram's got 25 points in the game. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Maybe the best ever at earning free throws. I mean, Harden has mastered the art of contact and still being able to get off the shot. They're not shooting their second and third free throws tonight. Throw drop for Harden. And Harden finished second in MVP voting in 2017, won the MVP in 2018. A multi talented combo guard who just seems to get better every season. Kyrie Irving, he's checked in for Kevin Durant. And the Pelicans also making a change. Hayes, he's checked in for Adams. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Here's Bledsoe. Green with the rebound. Brooklyn's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And, and while his ability to score gets so much attention, Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite-level passer. Now, here's Ball. He's got eight. Up top, Bledsoe. Guarded by Harden. On the clock. A three from Johnson. It's hauled in by DeAndre Jordan. The Nets with the lead. Here's Green. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one's on Johnson. And the length of Green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. one is off and the former Hoya Green a, a rangy forward who can both score and defend from all areas of the floor and he sinks the second and they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter pass to Ingram Feeds it to Johnson. That's good, and it's Ingram with the assist. 
Johnson's got his first basket. Nice presence inside. Johnson with a variety of moves and extremely good footwork makes him a difficult matchup. Now, here is Irving. He's got 17. To the paint. And it's Green missing. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. What strong fundamentals from Lonzo. Not about to waste a look that good. Now, here is Irving. The 17 footer. The pass to Brock. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Hayes has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ball kicks to Hayes. Ingram outside. Back to Hayes. Now the feed to Ball. And it's Kyrie Irving with the rebound. Brooklyn's gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Ball, the pass to Hayes. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Harden. And here we go. Harden head to the hoop. And Harden with the stop. And that's a nice job defensively from Hart. I mean, he's capable of these kinds of plays when the guy is engaged and active. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And, guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yes, the last few years, the rules changes have tended to benefit the offenses. This evens things out a bit. Now, here is Harden. He's got 17. Irving double team. Brown. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his sixth assist on the night. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Ingram drawing the double team. And the Pelicans miss again. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Ingram dishes to Hayes. Harden against Bledsoe. Here's Hernan Gomez outside for Bledsoe. And he can't stop the run as he misses. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken. And the team is suffering the consequences. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA. But it is on point tonight. Now here's Ingram. He's got 25. Count it. Great competitive play from Ingram tonight. And his teammates are sharing in his excitement. Here's Green. They get it again. Pelicans trail by six. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. They get it back. Ingram passes to Alexander Walker. Just five to shoot. Second chance shot. Rebound, Brooklyn. Down kicks to Green. And Harden gets it to go in on an assist from Green. Harden's got the eight now for Brooklyn. Near the three-point line, it's Ingram. And so it's Brooklyn holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? So I come out with a you know intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know, guys are in a in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Looking at the Nets, they came in playing with a purpose. Even though it's early in this championship series, they can smell blood in the wall, hoping to go up two games to none by the end of the night. Shaq, let's get your take on Brooklyn. 
And so far, the Beard has owned the game. He's getting to his spots. He's just going to work. He's a tough shot to make her shoot him right in your face. The defense has not been able to stop him. And uh, Kenny, what would you see from New Orleans? They aren't playing tight enough defense. That's pretty clear. There needs to be a lot better communication. Guys are playing defense on an island a lot of times. And that's getting them burned. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. Brandon Ingram has been sensational. His play so far is what fans love about him. He has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Duran is out there with Joe Harris. Then there's Irving. Then there's Griffin. And it's Harden in at the shooting guard. Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. Brandon Ingram typically isn't about the flash, but he showed it right there. Outside Griffin. Back to Harden. Over Butso. Harden, no good. And so it's Williamson with it. He brings it up for New Orleans. They trail by six. Ball kicks to Williamson. He dishes it to Ingram. Fires the three. Williamson missing, and the net shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. Irving can't hit. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Williamson, the best to Adams. Nice to see Williamson spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. Outside Irving. Irving double team. For three, Harris. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Ball dishes to Ingram. That shot, no good. Some solid defense from Harris. Here's Harden. Uses the glass to finish the lane. And now a nine-point Brooklyn lead. And it's another James Harden special we're witnessing here tonight. I think this fella's got some game. Ingram with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. It's good on the footman. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Down low. And slam dunk by Harris. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants it. Oh, and the lead they're enjoying. I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Ingram attacking. And Adams with the slam. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket, guys. Still shaking. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. change for the Pelicans. Hart's checked in. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. The Nets working the ball around now. He gets it in there. With his size, Katie almost unstoppable from mid-range. Ingram gets to Adams. Adams drawing the double team. And Hart has it in the corner. Ball from long range. 
Drains it from beyond the arc. Ball's got 14 points for the game. How about the range on that jump shot? I love seeing this guy when he's in form. Back to Irving. Over Williamson. And Irving with the basket on the assist from KD. Durant's got four assists now tonight. Pass to Williamson. Here's Hart. I love the defensive intensity from Blake Griffin on that play. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Williamson and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Pelicans shooting their seventh free throw attempt here. The Pelicans making a switch here. Alexander Walker's checked in. What you respect about Zion, he's not trying to flex on everyone. He sees the big picture on the court and in the public eye. Irving, good. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. Ball against Irving. Back to ball. Lee Pass was put in just the right spot. Ball's got 16. Another one for Lonzo. He's killing it tonight, doing whatever he wants offensively. A one-man show offensively, and that's almost always good news for his team. Ball up top, covered by Irving, and there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That's his first foul. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Yeah, and bringing that postseason intensity so key. These plays can change the trajectory of a game. James Johnson checked in for Adams. And that's leading by seven. Now Irving. He's got 25. And he lays it straight in. Irving's got eight points in the quarter. The bus driver with the ball in his hand. Kyrie keeps the defenders off balance. Pass to Williamson. Stolen by Durant. Irving from long range. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Williamson's got his fourth rebound in this one. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Dinwiddie right side. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. KD's got his fifth assist in this one. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Blake Griffin. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Jackson A's. He's checked in for Zion Williamson. Ball. The pass to Johnson. Here's Alexander Walker. Then would he cover it. Great positioning on the putback. Alexander Walker's got his first basket of the night. Oh, how about the finesse there? Nice little gentle touch on the board. And you know, when you have that gentle touch, those tip-ins are easy to come by. KD can't get it to go. 
It's three on three on the fast break. That is good. And the Nets lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Ball. I love how hard Lonzo Ball plays. It's what's allowed him to overwhelm the defense right there. Pass to Irving. Irving double team. And Harris wide open. He shoots. And the three off target. To the wing on the left. Loose. Dinwiddie with the steal. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Yep, that one goes in there. Riding the hot hand, and why not? If something's working, keep going to it. The drive by ball. Hands with the ball out of bounds. Jordan tucks it last. Some changes for Brooklyn. Green comes in for Harris. And it's Brown in for Kyrie Irving. Hernan Gomez has checked in for the Pelicans. Here's Alexander Walker. Good on the three-point shot. Alexander Walker's got five points so far. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Hits it from three-point range. And the Nets lead by nine. And Green's become a, a defendable three-point threat. If you don't get a hand in his face, he can certainly knock those down. Here's Alexander Walker. Then with covering. Johnson, that's for two. And that one hits back iron. Well, he's going to have some explaining to do on the sideline about why he took that shot. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Great tee that time from Green. On the basket block. Outside, KD. Jordan trying to free himself up. And KD, the bucket on the assist by Brown. Brown's got three assists in the game. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Brown. Here's Hernan Gomez. Yep, that one goes. He has six. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Pass to Durant. Good for another basket. He's put up 10 shots and made seven of them. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. And KD's got the ball here for the Brooklyn Nets. The 12 point lead, their biggest of the game. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Man, just Addy's insult to injury he just waltzes inside and extends this lead a uncontested shot at the rim you have to compete at all times looking at who's out there now for the Nets Blake Griffin comes in for Green and it's James Harden in for Bruce Brown Brandon Ingram he's checked in for the Pelicans Bledsoe comes in for Josh Hart Pelicans trail by 15 Passes to Johnson. Ingram outside. Six on the shot clock. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. The Pelicans have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And that one falls for Ingram. That's leading by 12. Dinwiddie outside. Here's KD. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Durant's got 18 points. Oh, great ball movement there. Alexander Walker passes to Hayes. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. A solid playmaker. Bledsoe has the vision to take advantage of an imbalanced defense. Here's Harden and the jam by Harden. 
And, and once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. And that one's good, Ingram. Man, he keeps doing his part. They just haven't been able to get over the hump. Pass to Durant. Pelicans trail by 12. To the paint. Here's Bledsoe. That one doesn't drop. Harden with the defensive effort. To the middle. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Nice pass by Kevin Durant. Has a good feel to find his teammates. The pass to Ingram. And he uses the glass on the layup. Ingram's got 36. Playing from behind right here. Not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring. It's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. Jordan against Ingram. And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets. 13 points up at the end of the period. They've excelled in the open court. Their transition game has allowed them to build this healthy lead. And we'll be right back after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? At his position, traditionally, his job is to shoot the basketball. Give him credit for keeping his eyes up and just taking what the defense allows. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. On the court for the Pelicans, getting the fourth quarter going. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Then there's Bledsoe, and then there's Stephen Adams, and it's Alexander Walker in at the point. Down the stretch, this is when they need him the most, and he is delivering. Ingram deciding where to go with it. Great to see Ingram forcing the issue, dependable at finding ways to get to the strike. And that one falls for Ingram. And team-wide, they've been terrific from the line here. Just one of those nights when the confidence has spread from one player to the next. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Dinwiddie outside. Inside, Harden. Good work there as it goes. Harden's got four this quarter. Superb at finishing through contact. Harden is just so elusive and creative on those strong drives. Here's Ingram. It's stolen by Harris. And here we go. The fast break with Dinwiddie. The dish to Durant. Good on the shot. Durant's got 20. It's been this way all game, I'll tell you. Durant put on a clinic. Williamson outside. Loads it up for Williamson. An emphatic LU jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Harden, no good. Pelicans trail by 15. And he makes that one. 
19 points in the game. With the body to carve out space, Zion Williamson goes to work and gets it done. And the slam by Blake Griffin. One of the cases where hype fails to tell you the whole story. Alexander Walker passes to Adams. And Ingram with the basket on the assist by Adams. Ingram's got 42 in the game. He is just self-willing, his team right now, doing everything he can to keep them alive. And the slam by Blake Griffin. That's what Griffin is known for best, his unreal vertical, which allows him to go over defenders. Pass to Alexander Walker. Williamson with it, defended by Durant. To the inside, Adams. Williamson trying to free himself up. Adams' shot is good. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. The Nets making a switch here. Irving's checked in. And the Pelicans making a change here as well. Ball's checked in. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I was able to listen in on what the Nets head coach was going over with his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Ingram against Harris. Second chance effort. And Williamson with a nice bucket inside. Williamson's got nine points now in just the second half. And it's out of bounds to the Pelicans. You want unselfishness, but you also need to keep it under control. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Wunzo kicks the ball. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Williamson. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. The shot by KD. No good. Here's Bledsoe, and oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on James Harden. He's off on the first. He's off on the second. That's leading by 11. Harden outside. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got 11 rebounds in the game. And it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Here's Irving. Passes it to Harden. But three. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Just not feeling it from beyond the arc. Sometimes that happens. He's trying to shoot his way out of it. New Orleans moving the ball. Oh, oh, here he comes. That was amazing. And look at the elevation. Unbelievable hang time. Giving the crowd its money's worth. 
Go ahead, Zion. And the wide-open shot from Griffin. And again, no good by Brooklyn. And in transition, it's Ingram. Here we go. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. KD finds Harden. And the jam by Kevin Durant. I love that play right there. You see the patience of Blake. He doesn't force anything. Just wait for his man to break free. Lead away. A shot by Bledsoe. Nobody around. That's good, and the assist goes to Williamson. And coming down the stretch here, both teams still on fire. Yes, and if you love offense, you're loving this matchup. It's been a highlight reel affair. That's the second three-pointer of the night. One in each half, trying to keep the defense honest. That one's good, and the Brooklyn lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Williamson. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harden the pass to Griffin. Back to Harden. Just five on the clock. Basket good. Harden's got eight here in the quarter. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. Here's Williamson. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense there from KD. Here's Irving. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Two shots. First one falls for him. I mean, it's so impressive. Kyrie's scoring ability. Terrific shot maker. Obviously gets to the line. Converts at a high rate. Both free throws good for Irving. And so it's ball with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. 11-point game. Feeds to Adams. And Adams with the slam. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. To the paint, Griffin. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got assist number eight now on the night. Bloodso outside. Over Harden. Tips it. And it's Adams on the follow. Adams has got 12 points in just the second half. I don't know what coach told him at halftime, but he is shooting the lights out right now. Ball against Irving. Irving double team. Harden outside. Four on the clock. Jacks up a three. Adams, a nice D. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? They get it back. Ingram drawing the double team to the left wing. The three, but so Blake Griffin pulls it in. Griffin's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And the basket is good. Harden's got 38 points. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Upside Harris. Griffin trying to get open. And Harris gets it to go on the assist by Irving. Irving's got assist number nine. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Here's Paul. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. On the drive, Lonzo's footwork is tremendous. The defense can't keep up with him. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And he could tell. His guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team.
Let's present our new player of the game, James Harden. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. On defense, New Orleans. They trail by nine points. And Griffin slams it in. And just a smooth player who reads the floor incredibly well. Harden is always looking to get his teammates involved. Ingram with it. And Griffin picks him up defensively. Griffin with the steal. And now the fast break. Griffin with the ball. And laid in to finish the break. Griffin's got ten points now just in this quarter. No hesitation. He just takes off and takes it the distance. Yeah, he's a one-man show in transition. Impressive play, taking it right to the rim. Nets leading by 13, and here's Harden for three. The basket good off the assist from Durant. KD's got nine assists now tonight. Outside, ball. Pass to Williamson. Over Durant. Number three, Bledsoe sinks the three-pointer. Bledsoe's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for New Orleans. And it's clear Bledsoe knows he has the coaching staff's trust to take those shots, capitalizing well on that. Harden can't hit. Pelicans trail by 13. Out left of the wing. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. And the slam by Blake Griffin. And that will effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for the Nets. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for James Harden. You know, he was flying around on both ends of the floor. Terrific energy and enthusiasm. And that rubbed off on his teammates. I thought he was a catalyst tonight. And a new group in for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Griffin. Johnson comes in for Kevin Durant. Landry Shamit's checked in for Harris. And it's Johnson in for Kyrie Irving. The pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's a one-do. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Shooting for New Orleans. West in one. Two shots. First one falls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. 24 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this way. Johnson, the pass to Johnson. Adams, some nice D. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And a hard finish there, guys. Yeah, and only one hand needed for that one. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. 
Thank you, Kevin. DeAndre, what do you think this team's identity is this season? Um, you know, we just have so many guys that can score. It's going to be somebody's night every night, like I keep saying. But um, we're also, uh, our half-court offense is getting a lot better. The ball is moving around, DeAndre. Thanks for your time. Kevin? David, thank you as always. That concludes Game 2 of the NBA Finals. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. See you later.